Hello, I'm Chris Cummings, CEO of Petro Technologies, and we provide rock solid IT every day. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about incident response policy. This is number 27 on the cybersecurity essentials list that I've been going through. In some companies, this is also referred to as an incident response plan. Incident response planning is important because it helps minimize the duration and damage of security incidents, identifies stakeholders, streamlines digital forensics, improves recovery time, reduces negative publicity, and customer churn, i.e. losing the clients or customers. Policies set the standard of behavior for activities. Such examples include statement of management of commitment, purpose and objectives of the policy, scope of the policy, organizational structure and definition of the roles, responsibilities, and levels of authority, severity ratings and incidents, performance measures, reporting and contact forms. This policy should at least have two managers or stakeholders responsible for approving the incident response policy and coordinating the activity when an incident occurs. Security analysts review the alerts, identify possible incidents, and perform an initial investigation to understand the scope of an attack. This procedure will help prepare your organization for cybersecurity issues, reducing the amount of chaos because there will already naturally be a lot, repeating the process so when it's repeatable it can also be prioritized, coordinate and keep everyone in the loop as discussed in the preparation, again to avoid delays and reduce questions in the future, expose gaps in the systems, especially if your team is small. There are many items to keep track of, which segues to preserving important knowledge. A plan ensures your best foot has been put forward to deal with a crisis, applying the best practices, and keeping track of the lessons learned over time. Practice the steps. With a clear plan, you'll be able to execute a repeatable process and improve the coordination and effectiveness. Document and provide accountability. With a good plan, with a clear documentation, it will reduce your organization's liability and demonstrate to compliance auditors what was done to prevent or stop the breach. A great source of seeking out more information about response planning and procedure tips is the NIST Government Computer Security Resource Center on the website at https colon slash slash csrc.nist.gov. So until next time, I suggest your organization's stakeholders should be discussing if you should have an incident response policy. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, and on the website at Petrotech IT. If you found this information useful, please share it. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below, and I'll address them in a future video. Thanks.